Arthritis at the base of the thumb is very common. In fact, it is one of the more common locations for women to develop arthritis. This is due to increased estrogen, which increases the laxity of the joint and contributes to the joint wearing out quicker. In addition, repetitive forceful pinching tends to wear out the thumb joint. One pound of force between the thumb and index finger equals 12 to 13 pounds of force at the base of the thumb. For patients that have thumb arthritis, it is usually good to avoid or delay surgery. Conservative treatment options include the following. Bracing with a hand-based splint. Neoprene-based splints are more comfortable, but rigid thermoplastic splints provide better support. Cortisone injections. These can provide relief for 6 to 12 months, but may become less effective over time as the arthritis gets progressively worse. Observation. There is no harm in waiting for surgery unless the pain is so bad that the patient cannot use the hand for a long period, and as a result, they develop atrophy and weakness of the thumb muscles, known as the thenar muscles. When conservative care fails, surgery is a good option that should have results that will last a lifetime. The procedure is called a carpal metacarpal, or CMC, arthroplasty. When this procedure is performed, a curvilinear incision is made over the thumb joint and two transverse incisions are made in the forearm over the FCR tendon. Through this incision, the entire bone in the wrist at the base of the thumb, the trapezium, and all bone spurs are removed. If the patient has arthritis at the next thumb joint, or STT joint, then half of that bone is also removed and additional arthroplasty surgery is performed. So through this incision, I take out this bone and all the surrounding bone spurs. I then use this tendon to reconstruct the ligaments at the base of the thumb. Use majority of the tendon to create a big ball, big space to stick where the bone was. So now instead of bone going a bone, you have bone on this cushion or soft tissue space here. This outpatient surgery takes about an hour. It is usually performed under general anesthesia, but can be done under local anesthesia for patients that have medical problems that makes anesthesia risky or dangerous. After surgery, the hand is placed in a splint that keeps the fingers and end of the thumb free. The patient will need to use strict ice and elevation after surgery with no lifting, pushing, pulling, or gripping greater than one to two pounds of force. After two weeks, the patient will return for x-rays and see a hand therapist for a removable thermoplastic thumb splint. At home, the patient can work on thumb range of motion exercises working on bending the thumb to the base of the small finger. Absolutely no pinching. This can contribute to laxity at the reconstructed joint. Six weeks after surgery, the patient will return for repeat x-rays. The long splint is usually converted to a short splint that is worn as needed. A strengthening program is started. Patients can gradually start resuming activities as they tolerate and usually do not have to return after this visit. In about 5% of the cases involving thumb arthritis surgery, the joint in the middle of the thumb, known as the MCP joint, hyperextends. When this is greater than 30 degrees, this joint needs to be fused at the time of surgery. Patients who have the zigzag deformity have highly concentrated forces at the CMC joint and the CMC arthroplasty surgery will typically fail if this joint is not fused. Patients are typically concerned about loss of function if this joint is fused. The thumb MCP joint has one of the largest ranges of motion variation amongst all the joints in the body. As you can see, the MCP joint is not moving. Some patients have 90 degrees of range of motion. Some patients have essentially zero motion. In general, patients don't notice any loss of function or difference if the MCP joint is fused as long as they have a good IP joint and a good CMC joint, which they do after surgery. With MCP fusion, rehabilitation is slowed down and patients are in a cast for four weeks after surgery. The pins and wires usually stay in. About 30% of the time, patients need a second surgery to remove this hardware. Thumb arthritis can be compared to an in-the-park home run operation. I typically tell patients at six weeks, they are approaching second base. The ball is in the left outfield corner. The left outfielder tripped on his shoelaces and is nowhere near the ball. The runner has a smile on their face because they know they're going to make it home. But they have to round second, 
run to third, round third, and then run to home. This is a very good operation with good long-lasting results, but it does take time to recover and return to activities.